Hey folks, welcome to another episode of Gideon's Tactical. Today I'm really excited to show you the pack that we're going to be reviewing. Because regardless if you're in the urban jungle, you know, and you're just going to your job or to the gym, walking home, you know, in a big urban sprawl, or you're on the top of a 14er, you know, hiking, backpacking, camping, just checking out the wilderness, either way, you know, a really good day pack is extremely important and one that really fits your needs and your criteria for what you're looking for. And uh, here to date on the channel, you know, we've reviewed a lot of great day packs, but they never really quite fit every single criteria that I need, particularly as a videographer that carries a lot of video gear as well as gear that I'm reviewing. And, uh, you know, maybe I like this feature about it, but it's lacking in this area. And there's never been really this all oh, perfect pack. Um, but I believe I may have discovered one that hits everything that I could ask for in this Sabra Gear Solo 21. That's what we have here today that we're going to be checking out and reviewing. We're going to do a whole walkthrough, show you all the stuff that it has to offer, pros and cons. Um, and hopefully by the end of the video, you'll see what this day pack from Sabra Gear has to offer and whether or not this might be a really, really good day pack for you. For me, with all of my testing, it's really hitting the sweet spot in a lot of areas that I look for that a lot of other day packs can't hit. And I'm going to show you what those things are throughout this review. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start checking out the Solo 21. All right, so let's go ahead and look at some of the basic specs as well as dimensions on the Solo 21. Now, the first thing is that this pack is Israeli made, uh, not only designed, but also produced there, which is really cool. I like that a lot. And now this being probably like my fourth uh, Sabra gear product, they are very tough, very durable, made with 500 denier uh, nylon, which is fantastic. They coat it really well. It's the, no problems with the stitching, you know, anything like that. They put that waterproofing coating on there so this is going to beat up water rather well. I've seen really good success with that. YKK zippers, all the plastics are going to be mil-spec grade plastics and uh, you know nylon belts and nylon weave. All that stuff is extremely high quality and uh, just really, really well designed with its materials and a very high quality pack. Now the specs are as follows, and I'm going to do not only centimeters but inches because I know not only uh, Israel but a lot of people overseas, for those of you watching overseas uh, that use the metric system, I want to help you out with that as well. So we're looking at an overall height from top to bottom of 50 centimeters or 19 and a half inches. That's huge for me. I'm always looking for packs that are over 18 inches long uh, from top to bottom, and this is 19 and a half, so that's fantastic. Then as we look at the width from side to side, we're looking at 26 centimeters or 10 inches wide and then when we're looking at the depth of the pack this is 16 centimeters in depth or six inches so those are a few of the basic specs for you guys here on this pack all right folks let's go ahead and talk about the price point and the value of this solo 21 now this is going to cost you 170 dollars with uh, this day and age, a lot of the packs that we're seeing, even you know, produced overseas in Asian countries, those can be easily pushing you know 180 to 200, and we're not seeing that with this. This is Israeli made, you know, and I would put a lot. I've seen other Israeli products, you know, not only from Sabra, that I would uh, say you know is on par with anything made here in the states. Obviously, USA made is always the best, but you know, if I'm gonna take it from another country, I think that Israel would be a great place to purchase it from. So at 170, I think that's a, a, what you're getting here and the design features and quality uh, is fantastic. And I think that's a great price point and a great value for this pack. If you're liking what you see and you like the features, you're getting a very good price point for the Solo 21. Right, folks so i want to show you the inside of the pack now we have this really nice uh, cover for these ykk zippers so that's going to help fight against the rain 
huge zippers there. And how this is designed is that you can either just open the top like this, and this com first compression strap helps just kind of keep it down to that position so that you can just kind of use it as almost like a top load pack. Now inside, there are a lot of different things that you can do here just on this first little area. Now you could put one of their smaller pouches and attach it to these two D-rings that we see up here, plastic D-rings. Now you could do that, and these D-rings are also designed to attach your water bladder that you could easily fit inside here that we'll show you in just a second. But I like this little feature a lot because that gives me the capability to put things I need quick accessibility to, like you know granola bars, power bars, something like that, and I don't have to go digging and rummaging through the whole set of the pack. Now, if I want to open this up fully, I love this aspect of it. I just unclip that compression strap, and then I can unclip this bottom one if I need to, and I can zip this fully into basically a clamshell design. Open this all the way up, and there you have it. So now I have the entire pack that I can easily get access to. I love how tall and kind of narrow it is because then I'm able to stack things on top of each other. They don't all sink to the bottom. I really like that a lot. So I got my camera case that I carry for all my filming. I got my survival kit down here. Now on this side, like I just showed you, there's uh, not a whole lot. This is the sleeve for the water bladder. I happen to be carrying an ax in there at the moment. This is a 15 inch, you know, ax. Um, but you know, you could do your water bladder sleeve obviously and put that or your water bladder and fit it inside that sleeve. And it also gives you on either side, these two little um, pot, uh, holes right here to feed your bladder through on either side, which is awesome. And this would easily fit, you know, a hundred uh, ounce water bladder, no problem. So lots of, you know, area for organization. Then on the other side, and I love this, I love this, two pockets. We got YKK zippers again. I got my fire kit in here. I got my leather gloves, stuff that I need quick accessibility to, my sharpening tool down in there. Then I can zip that sucker up and then I have an even bigger pocket down here that I got two smaller fixed blades I'm reviewing right now. I've got my beanie, you know, because I'm in the Rocky Mountains and can get cold. I got my saw. I got my uh, rain cover for the pack all in there, no problem. So guys, the interior of the pack not only has these two large organizational pockets, but also just gives you a lot of other just size capacity for those day hikes and those day treks. All right, let's go ahead and look at the water bottle sleeves that they have updated since the older Solo model as well as the Mono 48 model. They've made these a much longer and much taller, uh, which is fantastic, which means that this is gonna hold, this is a 48 ounce Nalgene. This thing is ginormous, as you can see here. 48 uh, ounces and it can hold it with no problem. So I love the fact that on these Sabra gear packs that they offer the um, water bottle sleeve for a semi-tactical pack. I, I do not like the fact that a lot of these companies that make these packs that are more tactical uh, in application never have water bottle sleeves and then you gotta buy your own and that adds more weight and it's just a pain in the butt. This is awesome. So they brought it up, they got a really nice elastic, you know, um, stretchy piece right there. You can easily get like a steel cup to boil your water in. And it's also in line with not only the compression strap, but also these two stages of Molly right here. So that even with this big, very large water bottle, I can slip this in and then I could even do a carabiner right here and attach it just for added security. You know, even if I were to fall and roll down a mountain or I'm running and gunning, this thing is gonna stay really nice and secure right there. And I just love the fact that they've done that on both sides here and giving us water bottle sleeves on the Solo 2021. Okay, so I wanna show you the Molly here, and this is on either side of the pack above the water bottle sleeve. And what they offer you is not only two stages of Molly, which I really like, so you could do you know smaller organizational, you know, like EDC pouches, uh, you know, AR-15 pouches, mag pouches, that type of stuff, so that you can really keep a lot of things accessible and just reorganize the outside of the pack if you need to. But down the middle of those two strips of Molly is the compression strap, and I really like that a lot. You know, that feeds around the whole pack so you can run like tripods and particularly me as a you know a videographer I'm doing this YouTube channel uh, this is awesome so now I could put my tripod down into the water bottle sleeve run the compression strap through there cinch it down and it really keeps it nice and stable you could do a smaller rifle carbine you know something like that uh, and it just really offers a lot of organization right there something to note is if you are doing a 32 ounce Nalgene it'll come right below that Molly if you're doing the 48 liter or excuse me, I say liter, uh, ounce Nalgene, 48 ounce Nalgene, it's gonna basically be level with that Molly. So just something to note and something to consider as you are deciding how you're going to um, trick out and use this pack. 
All right, let's take a look at the back here of the pack. Just want to talk to you real briefly. Um, first off, this is a rigid frame, uh, which is great, and it has aluminum rods running down it. So that really helps to give it some really good you know, rigidness to it, and you won't feel those aluminum rods at all on your back. They've contoured it in such a way so you never feel it. So that's positive. Now, this may not have like an airflow system compared to maybe some other packs out there, but after having reviewed lots and lots of gear here on the channel, guys, what I've found is that those packs that come with you know airflow systems or you know things like that to kind of help keep the pack off your back it may not get sweaty as quickly but i'm going to tell you regardless if it's this pack or one of those designs within you know half hour to an hour you're sweating just as bad and just as profusely so it to me they, they don't really seem to it's not a, a big positive to have that versus not in my opinion from my experience your mileage may vary now uh, the positive is though that when you do sweat this out within about five minutes it's dry as a bone which is awesome i really like that that it dries out real quick that's a positive I love, again, the 19 and a half inches of length. You know, I'm a bigger guy at 6'2 and about uh, 215 pounds. So uh, I'm always looking for packs that are over the 18 inch mark. So I'm really glad that this is almost pushing 20 inches uh, on the overall length from top to bottom. The final thing is that there is this um, belt, waist belt port here. Now the pack does not come with this waist belt. This is actually a waist belt off the Mono 48. So if you own the Mono 48, that waist belt will absolutely fit down this sleeve and fit and really support the pack you know, a lot better. Now this is the thing to note though. Um, because of how big I am and my large torso, the, the waist belt when I put it on rode above my hips and didn't really support the weight like it needed to because I'm such a large person. If you're under six foot, I think this would be a great option and would add even extra support to the pack. But if you're over six foot, it's better just to forget about it and just you know use the pack itself. So that's my mileage and what I've figured out and kind of you know seen with my use. Uh, now, when I'm filming this, I did not see the option to purchase this belt separately on the Sabra Gear website. I'm sure that's going to change real quick. They're really good about changing things and updating real fast. But at the moment, you can only use the one that comes on your Mono 48. I'm sure very quickly, though, these will be a separate purchase option for those of you maybe wanting to do that on your Solo 21. All right, so as you know, with any pack, you want to make sure that the straps conform well to your body and, you know, hold and carry your weight very well. And the Solo 21 offers that fantastically well actually it's got really nice s designed shoulder pads which are really nice they're going to uh, conform and contour to your body very well and is, and carry the weight really well because they're very thick and have a lot of cushion in them i like that feature a lot they're going to give you also these two compression straps so you can cinch this pack down get it nice and tight on your shoulders that's another big plus some packs don't offer these and i have a complaint with that because then you can't pull that pack up on your shoulders and have the weight where you want it to be in that sense then as we move down the line here a little bit we've got this really good sternum strap very tough durable clip as always plenty of nylon to spare and track so i can bring this up or down depending on the size of person that would be using this pack and works just really really well then finally we got the ton to spare here on my you know on the uh, shoulder straps and the extra length for the nylon which is a big plus like that a lot and uh they have the little tabs here so you can get the little Velcro to run through there, roll them up, and get them out of the way if you need to. So that's just a really good setup. And as you can see, it just rides really well on my body. I like how it distributes the weight really nicely. And it's going to be right here at my waist versus a lot of the other packs we've seen that are a lot higher. Um, and so it doesn't feel like I'm carrying a kid's pack. It really feels like a pack that was designed for me and fits my body really well.
All right, let's go ahead and look at the Molly that they give you here on the pack on the back side. Now, what they give you are three stages of Molly right here. And you can see I've got a lot of stuff attached to this. I got not only my VanQuest fat pack, which is my go-to medical kit right here on the outside of the bag, accessible real quick. I got two, you know, heavy loaded carabiners so that, you know, if I got stuck somewhere, I could use those for a lot of different things. Or I could do another one of uh, Sabra Gear's many pouches, you know, and organizers that they have. I could easily put it there. Now you have this compression strap that runs along the Molly and it runs along that third uh, set right there. So you can adjust where the clip goes right there. You can either have it in the center of the pack, off to one side, like what I did. I moved it all the way off to the side so I could make sure and molly different packs and stuff. So I really like it a lot. And as you can see, as always with Sabra Gear, great stitching right there on that, you know, crisscross and multi-weaved. So that's great stitching, great quality on the molly that they've done here. And just a great setup for, you know, those smaller packs and pouches that you would want to put that you want really accessible. And they didn't, you know, cover the whole back of the pack with Molly all over the place. And then that weighs down the bag. So I think it's a perfect amount and designed perfectly along with that compression strap to really work well and give you a lot of different mounting capabilities on this pack. All right, so on the bottom of the pack, they've done a great job giving you two really nice straps with the really strong buckles. You can easily detach and with plenty of nylon in those little Velcro keepers to keep the nylon from flapping around, as well as these two attachments that you could run different gear items through, regardless if it's a tripod, your firearm, uh, you know, whatever it may be. And uh, this is just great. You can do, you know, like what I'm doing, my jacket for the day. Uh, you know, you could start doing, you know, like a tent. If it's a one or two man backpacking tent, you could easily strap to the bottom of this pack, a bedroll, something like that, a tarp, you know, and uh, just gives you lots of lashing options for your bigger items at the bottom of the pack and it ain't going anywhere they're really nice and snug and cinched down tight on the bottom of the pack well folks it's time for us to wrap up this review for you on the solo 21 you've seen it in action i've carried this multiple multiple times uh used it on several treks really thought through the process of what does this have to offer is this just another run-of-the-mill pack you know or is this offering things for me personally that some of the other packs that we've reviewed here on the channel don't offer you know and we've reviewed some phenomenal packs i mean just fantastic packs but uh, i'm going to say this and i can't believe i'm saying it but for 2015 guys as we get really close to the end of 2015 this is by far the best day pack i have reviewed on the channel this year uh and that's saying something if you've been watching the channel, you know, and, and you're going to see a lot more of the Solo 21 on the trail because as of this point, I've yet to find a pack that meets all of the needs that I have and the specifications that I need uh, in a pack that this Solo 21 does. So Sauber Gear has done a phenomenal job and hopefully that uh, kind of helps point you in the right direction. As always, I hope this helps you out with your purchasing decisions, whether or not this is gonna be the right pack for you. This is the perfect pack to this point for me. Um, so guys, thank you so much as always for checking out the channel. Please subscribe, comment, like, share this video, check us out on all the relevant social media. And as always, remember to stay equipped, stay prepared. We'll see you out there.